Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamie Sherrod. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. Oakland County prosecutors are striking back against the parents of a boy charged with the school shooting at Oxford High School that killed four students and injured seven others. James and Jennifer Crumbly are charged with involuntary manslaughter in the case and wants the judge to lower their $500,000 bond so they can get out of jail. But prosecutors claim the Crumblies will go on the run if they're released. The parents are charged under a theory they made a gun available to their son, Ethan Crumbly, and had opportunities to prevent the mass killing. On the day of the shooting, the parents were asked to come to the high school to discuss Ethan's disturbing drawings seen right here. The Crumblies claim they had no idea their son would commit any violence. They are due back in court January 7th. Crime Stoppers offering a cash reward of up to $1,000 for information leading to the arrest of a man considered to be armed and dangerous in the Flint area. 29-year-old Christopher Bryant Stubbs has a felony warrant for his arrest for assault with intent to murder. Stubbs is 6 foot 1 and 300 pounds. If anyone has information on him, they can call Crime Stoppers anonymously at 1-800-422-JAIL. If you're looking for a warm meal this Christmas, North End Soup Kitchen in Flint invites you to join its holiday feast. It's from 11 to 1230 on Christmas Day. It will also be handing out hats, gloves and toys to all children and towels and socks to adults. Well, now here's Matthew with a look at your weather. Thank you, Jamie. Merry Christmas Eve, mid-Michigan. Still some milder air hanging around the area tonight as we do have a warm front continuing to move through uh, the area, eventually bringing temperatures into the 40s during the overnight hours, but also some liquid rain out there as we go through the rest of the evening and during the uh, mo or most of the overnight hours, rather. So through the overnight hours, still some scattered intermittent on and off showers out there, eventually starting to focus more on the thumb and the I-69 corridor near sunrise on Christmas Day. Now, Christmas morning, still a few occasional showers hanging around from the tri cities and south, but by the afternoon we're dry and actually clouds start to decrease a little bit. I think the models overdoing how much we clear out, but we'll certainly see a few peaks of sunshine before the day is over on Christmas. Before tonight on Christmas Eve here, a low of 43 degrees. Those temperatures staying pretty steady through the overnight hours. Also some areas of fog that will be out there both tonight and on our Christmas morning. We do have some dense fog advisories in effect until 10 o'clock on Christmas morning. Christmas Day will have a high of around 44 in the morning. Temperatures dropping to the middle 30s by dinner time after a cold front moves through and again that rain mainly just in the morning on Christmas Day. A high of 36 on Sunday dry conditions so a good travel day there but then looking at an unsettled work week once again at least at the start with multiple chances for snow and rain coming in. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news weather and information.